Well, I uh, was always uh, interested in the nervous system, and um, I, as with so many of us, uh, what really influenced me to uh, go into brain work with brain tumors was uh, a very influential teacher. And it was really only after I'd been through a series of patients where you go through from newly diagnosed uh, through therapies and through the process of dying that I understood more what I was doing and what I wasn't capable of taking care of for them. And it became an obvious thing for me to focus on that. Uh, and it has been the sole focus of my professional career ever since I started. When I first started uh, uh, working in this area and submitted my first grant in 1970, all you had to do at that time was to have a good idea and send it up to NIH. And if you were in a good academic institution, your grant was going to get funded. Well, today, uh, only about 10% of submitted grants are funded from the federal government. Uh, and you have to uh, have at least a third of the work completed. And the only way to have the resources to complete that work is from uh, either an, an institution's philanthropy or from a society like the National Brain Tumor Society. It requires involvement from, from the organization. But to really have dreamed this up is really remarkable. And, and not just to dream it up, but to follow through with funding. And, um, you know, we're being asked to do something very important for them. Uh, we have a huge responsibility to them. They, they are allowing us to do what we want to do, which is do research on glioblastoma. And we really want to deliver for them. Incredibly exciting group of people. Uh, and you know, we all want the same thing. We want to change the outcome of glioblastoma and gliomas in general.